fight, the fight You did it in a fight last time Motherfucker, you're addicted to your life You gotta fight Alright, coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Showdown Every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this right here is a spectacle, folks. I'm not sure I ever thought I'd see the day that an elite heavyweight boxer like this chooses to fly his trade, potentially long-term, in mixed martial arts. Here he is, Anthony Joshua, two-time unified heavyweight champion, the Vladimir Klitschko killer. And now the question beckons, what is it gonna be like as he tries to test his elite boxing skills in this MMA set? for this, our main event of the evening. Two years apart, these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's what is he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 142 pounds, fighting out of San Francisco, California, Chico. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 237 pounds, fighting out of London, England, Anthony John. Joshua! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the air. He blocks the punch. Beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, he's wearing it now, bleeding from his cheek. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Look at how he drives his knee right into the corner's midsection. 
All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. That's a big strike right there. Big leg kick land. And they separate. Shot is blocked there by Josh. So once again, leaning on that long reach as he counters effectively with a jab to the head. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice one, two there. Chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Punch, DC. Big ball punch land. Now we'll get back to range. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you got to be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there. Wow! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. All right, good job by him there to raise the... Oh! Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent very bad. Oh, he got him bad! Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. All right, he's in a half-guard position here not to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half-guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches, but it's very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Jumping in to try to get the finish. 
Well, he's got his back now. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some real good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. And that's the end of round number two. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. with the left hook. Starting to do some really significant damage to the... Oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, single collar tie here. for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. We now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 54 seconds of round number three. Going to win by knockout, Anthony Joshua! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.